Okay, so nalinis na natin and na-clear ko na yung space in the middle so pwede ko na siya gamitin as training space and malakas yung ulan, wala akong court no excuses guys, I have to find a way and you've been uh, seeing me doing this sa mga past vlogs ko way way before now I have to do it again kasi ito lang yung only space na meron ako and I don't wanna kill the momentum let's go, let's train guys So, guys, magsistart na kami. Tapos, andito si JC, tsaka si Kim. Sasabay ko sila sa training dito sa loob. Tapos si Clyde at tsaka si Uy. Magja-jump attack sila sa labas. Kasi last time, nag-jump attack kami. Hindi sila nakasama. So, uh, mag-iba kami ng gagawin ngayon para makahabol sila. But, again, no excuses. It's raining. No court. You have to keep on working, guys. <laughs> At so guys, tapos kami mag-jog dito sa small space na meron kami. So jog kami, almost 10 minutes. Katulad kung paano kami mag-jog sa court. For me, it's just the same. Ang late lang ng space. Ang daming rounds ka lang, pero it's the same jog, same pagod. And it's always about uh, maximizing the opportunity. And kung anong meron ka, hindi ka pwede mag-complain. So, kapag jog na kami, it's time to stretch. And then we'll move. Woo! Alright, so what's up guys? Uh, tapos kami mag-stretch. Pero bila ko na-realize, nakakatuwa kasi last year ang kasama ko madalas si Christian at si Jolo. Kahit saan ako mag-training sa loob ng bahay, dyan sa labas. Now, kasama ko naman yung kapatid Jolo si JC at si Kim kasi silang dalawa naman yung nag-stop. And of course, si Christian at si Jolo nasa school like to train. So, mag-train pa rin sila. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Pero, uh, hindi ka tulad ng dati na lagi yung silang nakikita. Kasi of course, meron na silang responsibilities. Pero itong dalawang to, si Kim at si JC. Tsaka si JM. Uh, si JM din nakastop pero dito siya nakastay so madalas siya sila makikita. Just like Jolo and Christian last year. And habang nag-ball handling at saka footwork kami. Si Uy. Tsaka si Clyde. Dito jump attack sila sa labas. Kasi nga hindi sila naka-attend last time so kailangan nila humabol. Alright, so like fly and jump attack. Ito actual movements, pero it still focuses on the power, explosiveness ng legs namin. It's short movements na magagamit namin sa game, pero ang pinaka-focus ito is still uh, strength and conditioning ng legs namin, combined with skills. Kaya gumagalaw kami actual movements. So, yeah, three sets kami, and you have to do more. Hello, babe. Anong kaya pa? Ito lang ang gamit. Ha? Hindi ko pa kaya? Hindi pa? Hindi ko pa kaya naman tayo. Okay. May dayo pa naman tayo mamaya sana. So si Josh kakauwi lang niya, galing siya ng school, may pasok na siya. So nakakauwi siya ng mga... Ayan. Mga 5 o'clock. So, ibigis na rin siya para makasabay siya sa training. So next move, drop. Same move. Just we stop here. Attack. Okay, maliit na attack lang. Then we go back. Back. 
And then behind the back, we attack again. cross you know yung mga between cross sa akin pinakamaraming combination sa dulo in not cross cross nagawa na yun hindi yung pinakadulo in not cross between behind cross in not cross between behind between cross ay ba hindi ko na ba coach pwede mo yung tubig ako ay bata dito ako yun Sabay! <laughs> Sabay na again, sayo kami. And sila Bebe na again, sayo yung sa labas. Hindi pala si Bebe may lagnat siya, so hindi siya makasabay. Pero nandito pa rin siya. Si Uy, nagdi-dribbling. Si Josh at saka si Clyde. Tapos kaka-uwi lang ni Bay. One big happy family. Guys, here we go, last drill. It's already 6 p.m. Like start me 4 30 p.m. So one and a half hours of continuous work. One and a half hours lang pero all out yon chaka wala masyadong pahinga. No rest in between. So last drill. Sagad tayo, sagad. Next drill. Between, cross, between. Cross. One, two, three, four. Teta.
Okay guys, 10 drills, 2 sets, every drill left and right. So ito nagawa ko na yung left side, right side, last set, and then we're done. Let's go all out. Let's go all out. Alamuna, Alamuna, Gagu, no, Papa. Papa, 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 Alright, so guys, uh, tapos sabi mag inside. It was very intense training. One and a half hours of training today, today. Wala masyadong rest. And to think na ginawa namin yung sarob lang ng bahay, ginawa namin ng paraan habang umula ng malakas. And this mass mentality speaks for itself every single day. Natalia ang gusto i-share sa inyo. And it really helped me in lots of ways that uh, I couldn't even imagine. So, guys, I hope you're with me. Oh, this process, pero hindi pa tapos yung vlog. Pero pang gusto sabihin sa inyo mamaya. Hintayin nyo lang guys. Papahingin lang ako konti. I'm gonna take a shower and dinner. And then let's talk again later. What's up guys? And obviously, hindi na ito yung same day uh, na nagtiringin kami. Pero I uh, just wanna end the vlog today uh, with a simple motivation na gusto share sa inyo. So, guys, in our lives, we're always given a pencil. And whatever happens with a pencil, are the situations that happens in our lives every single day. And most of the time, what happens to this pencil are not the plans that we, we, we planned it to be. We have a pencil, we want it this way until the end. But most of the time, it breaks. So now, you have a useless pencil na hindi mo na magagamit. But, if you know what to do with the pencil, if you know what to do with all of the things that are happening to you. You know how to maximize the opportunities that you have every single day. Um, I think you can most probably turn those problems into situations that are really sa to I remember one day, when we were training pala kami ni Papa, it used to rain every day. And meron isang araw doon, 5 a.m., kinigising niya ako. Sabi niya sa akin, Mav, training tayo. Sabi ko pa, sobrang lakas ng ulan. Basa yung court sigurado. Walang mangyayari sa akin dyan. Bukas na lang tayo or mamayang hapon. Pero hindi niya pinalagpas yung pagkakataon na yun. And you know what? Pagdating ko sa court, basang basa ko talaga yung court. Um, sabi ko, sabi sa'yo pa eh, basa yung court. Sabi sa'yo, bukas na lang tayo mag-train. So, what I did was, he told me to wait because sige, tinutuyo niya yung court. And then maya maya, natuyo niya yung court, siguro ma after 30 minutes. And then, next start kami mag-train. I first made 50 shots. Sabi niya, why not make it 100? So, nag-shooting pa kami. Hanggang sa hindi ko namamalaya, nakaka-150 na ako, 200. And that's the day that I made my, my record. I made 650 made shots. Nang umuulan, guys. Nang umuulan. Yung araw na akala ko, hindi ko magagawa yung record ko. Doon ko siya nagawa. And uh, that is what happens to the pencil. If you know how to, how to deal with those kinds of things. And remember, guys. Your pencil was broken. But if you know what to do with the pencil. You can turn that, that situation. Into an opportunity. With a better one, because look at this. Kanina, I can only use one. But now, I have one, two, three opportunities made because of that broken pencil. Guys, this Coach Mav, I want you to remember this one because this is going to be very, very important. A broken pencil is not useless. You just have to know how to sharpen the pencil again and make it an opportunity. I love you guys. This is Coach Mav. I'm going to see you again.
God bless you all.